extremely burnt out. I'm proud of myself because I got dressed today. I'm wearing the blazer that I thrifted um, a couple days ago and I'm about to go to Target with my mom to get some Christmas decorations and try my best to feel festive. <laughs> I know that um, the holidays aren't really a great time for everyone and I've been feeling that a lot. This holiday season especially, um, yeah, and the more I talk to people, the more I feel like a lot of people feel like that right now with finals and pandemic and everything that's going on. It's really hard to be festive and be excited for the holidays when um, everything kind of feels like it's on fire. I'm gonna do my silly little tasks so I get out of bed. And sometimes that's all you can do and that's okay. So if you're feeling like you're in a rut or you're burnt out or you're not excited about the holiday season, that that is okay. In fact, that's expected, especially this year. Like, there are like little coping mechanisms and things that I do personally just to get me out of that headspace. So I wanted to take you along in case you are also struggling and you are looking for maybe just some things to do to get out of that rut or take care of yourself. So, yeah, come along. <laughs> sold out of the cats. <laughs> Thank you. 
dirty. Here's the public health and safety. I got my flu shot too. My arm is gonna feel all sorts of wonky. But that's okay because the well-being of others and myself is very important. If you have not, I highly, 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 highly recommend going and getting your vaccine if you have not done so yet. Um, it's available. I went to my local Walgreens, walked up. It was the easiest thing ever. Do it for your grandma. Do it for the kids that live in your neighborhood. Do it for your dog. I'm sure your dog would be proud of you. <laughs> It's Friday, December 3rd, and it is a very rainy, dreary day. So I'm gonna go thrifting. I'm going to do a major thrift expedition because the thrifting in the city is good, but it's super expensive. And here, it's way cheaper, and there's a lot of hidden gems. So I'm gonna hop around town and see what I can find. Hi guys, <laughs> this is the third time I'm lighting this candle in this video. Oh my god, you really want to know how to get out of rent? Buy an expensive candle that you definitely don't need. I have my favorite candy with me, um, Sour Patch Kids. My dad went grocery shopping and kindly bought this for me. He thought I it was for friends when I asked, but um, no, it's actually just for me. I just wanted some Sour Patch Kids. I know everyone's gonna judge me for this, but like, <laughs> that always works. Mmm. I'm not a pyromaniac, I just like this lighter. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And comment below. What are your best coping mechanisms for burnout? I would love to know. We can just, we can share. We can help each other out. Um, also, just shout out to everyone that is doing finals right now for college. I'm proud of you. You're getting through. If you're working and it's the holiday season and, you know, I know how stores get busy during the holiday season. I was in Target and it was so busy. You know, if you're just really burnt out, buy yourself a giant party pack of Sour Patch Kids and save them for yourself. I hope everyone is healthy. I hope that you're all staying safe. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles. Toodles? Who says toodles, Sharpay Evans?